Hello everyone, I'm Xinyo from Beihang University. Today I will introduce our work vectorizing CSP MV by exploiting dynamic regular pattern. This is the outline of my talk, which contains five parts as shown in slide. Firstly, I will introduce the backgrounds and motivations of this work. The CMD architecture has been previously adopted on modern CPUs, which provides vectorized operations such as reduction, gather, and scatter for boosting program performance. To exploit the vectorization capability of the CPU without the burden of programmers, compilers have developed powerful static analysis to vectorize programs automatically. Meanwhile, sparse matrix vector multiplication has been widely adopted in both traditional and emerging research fields such as high-performance computing, big data analysis, and deep learning, which exhibits an increasing demand for higher performance. Thus, it makes sense to exploit CMD instructions to fully utilize the performance of modern CPU or SPMV computations. One major difference between sparse and dense matrix vector multiplication is whether the data access and computation patterns can be known before runtime. For the SPMV, the above patterns are strong, strongly correlated with the input data and can only be known during runtime. Such uncertainty of the SPMV presents difficulties such as irregular memory access and quite complex for compiler optimization. One reason for the failure of modern compilers to generate efficient vectorization codes for SPMV is due to the statically unknown memory access patterns. For instance, when loading the data from discontinuous memory addresses, the compilers always generate gather operations for loading memory. However, we found that replacing the gather operation with load permit blend operation groups achieves better performance. For the regular program, as shown in figure A, the compilers can automatically perform the vectorization optimization through static analysis. In detail, the gather operation access the 0, 2, 4, 6 elements of the data resulting in loading data of ACEG. While with load permute blend operation groups, we first load the data with two vector load instructions resulting in ABCD and EFGH respectively. Then we perform permute operation to replace the data in the proper location and move the permuted data with blend operation. Whereas for the irregular access as shown in the figure B, since the memory access patterns can only be recognized during runtime, the compilers generate efficient codes that load data from memory using gather operations, rather than optimized codes using not permit blend operation groups. Another reason for the incapability of existing compilers to generate efficient authorization codes for irregular programs such as SPMV is the failure of identifying computation patterns such as non write conflicts within a vector lane. For regular programs that are shown in figure A, compilers can identify the non write conflicts with static analysis and then generate vectorization code. For instance, the operation 1, 2, 3, 4 are independent from each other. Then the compilers can leverage such information to generate vectorized codes. However, when dealing with the regular program in Figure B, the compilers have to conservatively assume that the operations have dependencies with each other to ensure correctness. However, the optimization in Figure, two, figure B indicates that operations 1, 2, 3, 4 can be parallelized with vectorization, which leads to better performance. Unfortunately, the such vectorization opportunities for irregular programs cannot be identified by compilers using static analysis. To show the performance opportunity with gather optimization and quantitatively, we evaluate the performance of the synthesized micro benchmark on Broadwell, Skylake, and KL platforms specifically. We observe that replacing the gather operation with load permit blend operation groups achieves better performance in several cases as shown in figure. While the performance improvement using gather operation varies across different array sizes, the gather optimization is more effective than the array size is small and less LPP are needed to replace the gather operations. Similar performance improvement is also observed by replacing scatter operation with permit store operation groups. Moreover, the sparsity part of the data also affects the performance opportunity when optimizing the gather operations. For instance, if the sparsity of the data is entirely random, there is hardly a chance of achieving better performance. performance. Fortunately, most of the sparse data exhibit, exhibit regular patterns to some extent. The bar figure in the slide shows the distribution of gather operations on such sparse data sets that can be optimized by replacing the LPB operation groups. The x-axis of figure indicates the number of LPB for replacement, and the y-axis indicates the percentage of the datasets. The legend of the figure represents the percentage of gather operations that can be replaced by LPB. There are 
4% of the data sets exhibit in the geyser optimization opportunities is more than 25% of the geyser operations to be replaced by only one LPP. Therefore, there is a large performance space by applying geyser optimization to irregular program with sparse data. The above observations indicate a huge performance opportunity for vectorization of irregular programs such as SPNV that cannot be achieved by compilers using static analysis. However, there are several challenges to realizing the above performance opportunities for SPNV. Firstly, memory access and computation patterns can only be determined during runtime. Secondly, memory access and computation patterns vary significantly across different inputs. Thirdly, the diverse CMD architectures require adaptive code generation approach for the regular patterns with the architecture features for better performance. Therefore, we make three key contributions to address the above challenges. We first identify the missing performance opportunities to leverage regular patterns within SPMV programs on CMD architecture by replacing traditional gather scatter reduction operations with more efficient operation groups. Then, we implement Dynamic, a framework that realizes the several optimization techniques such as feature extraction, data re-render, and co optimizer to automatically generate efficient vectorized codes. Finally, we evaluate dynamic with the representative dataset on Intel, Broadwell, Skylake, and can also be used. The evaluation results show that the CPMV codes automatically generated by dynamic achieve better performance than the state-of-the-art implementations. Next, I will introduce the overview of my approach and uh, the methodologies. We designed a uh, framework for optimizing SPMV programs by exploiting a vectorization opportunities on CMD architectures automatically with JIT compilation techniques. The design overview of Dynamic is strong in slide. Users only need to describe the SPMV computation using a lambda expression with its input data, and Dynamic interprets the lambda expression and automatically generates an efficient implementation for a particular CMD architecture. The runtime data of a particular program execution can be classified as immutable data and immutable data. The immutable data is noted by user to ensure it is unchanged during runtime, and it will be used to generate information to guide the, guide the optimization, so that the value of the immutable data is still unknown until runtime. Then we first interpret the lambda expression and generate the expression tree. The expression tree describes the computation process without concerning the specific optimizations. It captures operations such as gather, scatter, and reduction derived from the lambda expression with the left to right top down parser. Then, the way represents the runtime memory access and the computation patterns of SPMV with instruction features derived from the immutable data and the past expression tree with feature extraction. Then, the way uses the hashing function to merge loop iterations with the same instruction features and write locations to avoid memory bloat. After that, the way rearranges the data with the data rearranger for better data locality and the way generates optimized CPMV codes with the code optimizer, which replaces gather scatter reduction operations with more efficient operation groups. Finally, the event generates the user callable function pointer via LLVL JIT compilation. The event extracts the instruction features such as data access order, number of operations to replace, and the permutation address from specific immutable data during feature instruction phase. To represent the data access patterns, we classify the data access order within a specific factor length into several categories, including uh, increment order, equal order, and other order. The increment order indicates the value of the access every IDX within a vector length and is continuous and incremental, whereas equal order indicates all values of access every IDX within a vector length and are, are all the same. The rest of the cases are all classified as other order, which needs further analysis to reveal the regular patterns. Since the data access with recruitment order and equal order exists clear regular patterns, this data access can be fulfilled with a single memory operation. The number of operations to replace NR differs for gather scatter and reduction operations. Since the method of determining NR for gather and scatter operation is similar, we only represent the Methods for gather and the reduction operations as follows. The, for gather operation, the 
NRI denotes the number of load operations used to depress a gas operation. The largest value of NR is a vector less n of the SMD architecture. For example, the gas operation shown in slide can be replaced by two load per mute blend operation groups with vector less of 4, thus NR equals to 2. In addition, we also extract NRA permutation addresses for corresponding NR loads, which is used to permute each loaded value for final blend blending. The mass M of I's for blend operation is also extracted from the immutable data. For reduction operation, NR indicates the number of permute blend add operation groups required, which we need the 0, 1, 2 to log M. We also need to extract the permutation S and blend mass M for reduction of permutation. As shown in the slide, we V0, V3, V4, and V6 are reduced into memory location I0, whereas V1, V2, and V7 are reduced into memory location I1. The value V5 for I3 is not reduced within the vector list, therefore we need NR equals to two permutation addresses as denoted as S0 and S1, and corresponding mask for blend operation as denoted as M0 and M1. Meanwhile, the mask MS is also generated for storing the final reduction results into memory. Based on the expression T, feature extraction extracts the computation patterns within the SMD lens to generate the feature table. Specifically, as shown in figure A, we inspect the immutable data of gadgets scattered reduction operations and store the extracted patterns into the feature table, which captures the data access and computation patterns of steps B and V. Each column of the feature table is the computation process for one loop iteration and the row it represents the corresponding operations in the past order traversed to our expression tree. In figure 7a, the each column of the feature table is denoted as iter k, where k is the case iteration and each iteration process data within the vector lens of the target system architecture. Thus, each element in the feature table describes the instruction feature at the current iteration, which includes data access order of a particular iteration, number of operations for replacement, and the permutation address. Specifically, we consider two access computation patterns are different when their instruction features are different, which results in different optimal code of generation. Then, dynamic dynamic merges the uh, columns with the same instruction features as well as the columns with the same right locations. Specifically, the hash value of each column in the feature table is generated using hash convec function. And we merge the columns with the same hash value to generate hash map, which reduces the memory footprint during code generation. After merging columns with the same hash values, the dynamic continues to process the hash map to merge columns with the same right locations. Then the data rearranger where we already organizes the immutable data of each gather scatter reduction operation into PKG value pairs, where P equals to the size of the hash map. Each key value pair uses the hash value as its key. For example, the K1 to KP are shown slides for each key. Then when groups the indices of merge iteration into tuples as its value, this uh, rearrange the indices are packed as the new immutable data of each operation. For example, the IDXR gather as shown in slide, which represents a specific computation pattern. After merging loop iterations with the same instruction features in feature table, the data rearranger reorganizes the immutable data for better data locality by rearranging the order of iterations called inter-iteration rearrangement and data within a vector length of each iteration also called intra-iteration rearrangement. As shown in figure, the iteration rearrangement generates the rearranged immutable data according to the order of iterations in the merged hash map to represent the data of iterations with the same computation pattern to the same right location. For example, the figure 10a represents an illustrated example of inter-iteration rearrangement with two operation groups right into the same location. Without leveraging the operations to a reduction of operations 1, 2 in the figure 10 to the target data already in the memory are required, which with both computation units and memory bandwidth. Figure B shows the computation pattern after merging the operations, where only one V at reduction operation group is required, as shown in the as shown as the three and four in figure B. Also, although in this case we introduce one extra vector operation we add, it is far more efficient than one extra reduction operation. 
Meanwhile, for the intra iteration rearrangement, the data rearranger will generate the rearranged data of each operation based on the features within a vector lens derived during feature extraction. We do not rearrange the immutable data for reduction operation to guarantee your correctness. For example, Figure 3 demonstrates intra iteration rearrangement within a vector lens of 4, where the data array B is indirectly accessed based on the access array ITX using algorithm. Use, using feature extraction as shown in the previous slide, the two access arrays IDX of 0, 3, 1, 2, and 4, 10, 7, 12 are rearranged as the new access arrays IDX are gathered of 0 and 4, 10, which are insufficient to load all values using gather optimization. Thus, the data rearranger rearranges immutable data for better locality to facilitate further code optimization. For code optimizer, we use a gather optimization example for illustration. The figure illustrates an example of the gather optimization applied based on the derived features of gather operations, assuming the <coughs> vector length is 4 and the bit width of the permute vector is 2. In this example, we use two load permute plan operation groups to replace one gather operation, where the first load reads d0 and d1, and the, the second one reads d4 and d5. Therefore, we can obtain nr equals to 2 and permutation address s equals to 0011 and s1 also equals to 0011. Specifically, we first load data ABCD and EFGH to registers based on D0 and D4 of the ITXR. Then, based on the S0 and S1 with all, and the loaded values, we obtain AABB and EEFF with permit operation. After that, we apply the plan operation to AABB and EEFF with mask equals to 0110 in order to obtain AEFB. It is clear that with scatter optimization using NR, Load permute blend operation groups is sufficient to replace the gather operation. For better efficiency, the code generation differs when the gather operation exists different data access patterns. Similarly, uh, Dynamic supports the add or reduction operation widely used in SPNV programs. Instead of generating code based on the distribution of right locations, we generate optimized reduction operation groups based on NR. For more optimization details, please refer to our paper. Next, I demonstrate our evaluation results. We evaluate Danway with SPNV on platform as shown in slide. We compare Danway with the SPNV implementations from Intel MKL, CSR5, and CVR, where MKL uses the CV CSR data layout and the parameters of CSR5 and CVR remain as default. For each run, we execute the SPNV 1000 times and measure the average execution time. To evaluate the SPNV, we select 2700 matrices from 3 plus matrix datasets, including both regular and irregular matrices with characteristics as shown in slide. The evaluation results are shown in the figure. The figure represents the achieved performance of all evaluated matrices with SEC, MKL, CSR5, CVR, and the way implementations on each evaluated platform, where the results are sorted by the achieved performance among all evaluated methods. In general, the achieved performance improves when utilizing the latest principal platform with wider equator lens, especially for Danway, which achieves the best performance on all evaluated tests, resulting in 6.11 GFLOPs and uh, 2.44 GFLOPs on Broadwell and Scanlake platforms, respectively. More detailed statistical results are shown in figure with the performance speedups of Danway against the implementations of CSR, MK, and CSR5 on Broadwell, Scanlake, and KNF, respectively. Note that CVR only supports MX512 intrinsics. Thus, we only evaluate CVR on scaling and KNL platforms, specifically. The Piscoran or figure represents the distribution of the achieved and performance speed up or Danway among all evaluated matrices against each implementation. There are the bars located on the right of the red line, which performance speed up is larger than one, indicates Danway performs better than the compiled implementation. Especially, the histogram indicates a more significant performance speed up when the bars are more concentrated to the right. As shown in the figure, Danway achieves the best performance of 48.6%, 50 56.1%, and 68.7% of the dataset on Broadwell, Skylake, and KNL, respectively. The reason why Danway achieves better performance is that it can generate more efficient operation groups and eliminate potential write conflicts, which is hard to be exploited in static combination with SEC and neglected in SOTA implementations. 
To better understand the performance improvement, we developed a tenable performance group of SPMV for each metric in the dataset. Specifically, the tenable performance group can be calculated as shown in slide, where NZ indicates the number of known fields of a performance metrics, M indicates the number of rows and benefits is obtained by the empirical benchmark used in motivation experiments. Therefore, the roof of a given sparse matrix can be regarded as a performance upper bound of SPMV, the ratio of the achievable performance and attainable performance uh, represent the achieved performance efficiency, which is shown in the figure. Note that the histogram of diamond is more concentrated to the right, indicating the implementation to using diamond is more efficient than that of SSC, MKR, CSR5, and CVR on all evaluated platforms. The overhead of diamond consists of two parts, including code analysis and JIT compilation. To better understand the overhead of diamond, we represent the Overhead as the number of iterations that can be compensated for the time for code analysis and JIT compilation, as shown in the equations in the slide. The evaluated result is shown in the figure. The code analysis overhead varies based on the size of the immutable data, and the larger data results in a larger analysis overhead, whereas JIT compilation overhead is usually ranges from 10 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds due to the limited computation patterns. However, the significant performance improvement of code optimization compensates for such overhead, which results in the performance speed out of the program. Next, I will introduce some related works. There are various works to optimize CPCMV for its regular memory access, including utilizing efficient air space storage, improving data locality, and optimizing risk of parallelization. Some works rely on well designed polyhedrons to for effective code transformation during compilation, which is not a trivial task for to achieve performance speed up. In some, time exploit the performance opportunity by optimizing the regular data access and computation patterns within the irregular programs. Time does not rely on polyhedral frameworks and complements the polyhedral based approaches. Next, my conclusion. In this paper, we address the limitations of traditional compilers that is enabled to exploit the vectorization opportunity for optimizing regular programs such as PMV due to the unknown memory access and computation patterns. We propose Dynamic, which identifies the regular patterns within the PMV programs with effective feature extraction and data rearrange methods and then generates the more efficient vectorized codes with corresponding optimizations. The experiment results demonstrate that the effectiveness of our approach in optimizing the SPMV programs compared to the state-of-the-art implementations, achieving the best performance speed out of most evaluated matrices on Broadwell, Scalic, and KM platforms. Dynamic is already open source at GitHub. Thank you for listening.